Now, more reactions now in Nigeria are pouring in over the federal government's declaration that Port Harcourt Refining Company Limited would be back on stream by December. The latest is from an energy expert and managing director of Kenyan International West Africa Limited, Dr. Vic Victor Ekpenyong. Dr. Ekpenyong commends the Minister of State for Petroleum and his counterpart for gas, adding that the government must pay attention to issues of oil theft and vandalism in Nigeria Delta region. He also believes that Nigeria has the capacity to produce more. Let's take a listen to what he has to say. The biggest issue in oil and gas sector has always been evacuation. And, um, you, you know, um, Nigeria has a capacity to produce over 2 million barrels of oil per day. And um, because of the, the vandalism that is going on in Naya Delta, you discover that a lot of pipelines that are supposed to evacuate, some of these that produce hydrocarbon, are being tampered with. So now, Nigeria, that's supposed to evacuate, the, the channels through which these are supposed to be evacuated uh, are, are being, uh, uh, you know, suspended. So the idle assets are just there, the oil wells are just there, and you can't produce, you can if you produce, you're not going to be able to evacuate it. That is just a challenge. And this challenge is that, affecting the country in terms of, you know, foreign revenue. We're supposed to be earning revenue from oil, which is one of the major sectors that is, you know, contributing to Nigeria economy. And because of that, Nigerians are suffering. You see the rate of inflation and, and everything that is going on in the country, it's just because we are not making enough revenue the way we used to make. So the solution to this problem is for all the stakeholders to come together, the government, the security, the community, and the operators come together and solve this problem once and for all.